Okay, my name is Mark Hatchett, M-A-R-K-H-A-T-C-H-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I'm the Staff Sergeant of the Sex Crimes Unit. Now I'm going to read from a prepared statement, uh, and then I'll be able to answer any questions that anyone ask, uh, asks. Now, the Calgary Police Service have charged a man in connection with a forcible confinement incident where a woman was held against her will. On Wednesday, officers were called to a business in the 100 block of Skyview Ranch Road Northeast for the report of a woman being alleged that she had been uh, escaping after being held captive in a nearby home. The victim was able to direct officers to a home at the 200 block of Skyview Springs Garden Northeast where she claimed she had been held for up to three weeks. Uh, it's also alleged that the victim was assaulted both physically and sexually during that time. Uh, we attended the home in question and were able to apprehend uh, the accused without incident. Uh, Troy Jordan Lemke, 28 years old, of Calgary, Alberta, has been charged with uttering threats, assault, assault causing bodily harm, sexual assault, and forcible confinement. Uh, the victim and the accused in this case were known to each other and had been in a domestic partnership earlier in this year. Um, and that's all I can say as the investigation is still ongoing. Um, the investigation uh, has led us to believe that uh, they were together as of March of this year. Uh, we, we haven't found anything like that. Has there been any other uh, previous reports of any, of any reports to that home or, or to, that, uh, to the accused specifically? Um, we're still investigating uh, secondary issues regarding this file, and that's something we're looking at. But we, I have nothing right now. Um, she was uh, physically and emotionally uh, confined in the uh, residence. Can you provide any details as to how um, she was able to get away? Whether um, she kind of uh, did she kind of waited for somebody else to go and she figured out a way, or, or, or broke a window, or something like that? How did she get out? Yeah, she was able to uh, uh, manipulate the accused and uh, attend a business close by, uh, whereby she called nine one one. Uh, the investigation is continuing, but it's not to my knowledge that there was. Um, some of the neighbors had said that they wondered if there was drug and prostitution happening in the house. Is there any kind of human trafficking element to this? Uh, like I say, we are continuing the investigation. A uh, warrant is being executed on the residence as we speak, and further evidence will be gathered and charges are pending um, uh, depending on what we find in the residence. Where was she kept in the house? Like throughout the house or one specific spot? Throughout the residence. Yeah, we, we actually have been interviewing lots of uh, witnesses with regards to this incident, and, uh, and that's what's led us to the five charges that we have been able to lay at this time. Were there other women that were being held, or was it just the force? Uh, at this time, we just believe it was uh, our victim. What was the nature of the physical injury? Um, our, our victim was uh, 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 injured in, in a way where... Uh, um, she was beaten over a period of the three weeks, as well as sexually assaulted uh, multiple times over the three weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'm just wondering, over the course of that, of that time frame, uh, how, many, how many times do you think she was assaulted or sexually assaulted or assaulted? It's still uh, unclear at this time, uh, yet uh, we believe that um, these incidents happened uh, uh, on a regular basis during that three-week time. Um, and the injuries that she sustained uh, and were treated for were minor in nature. Were there other people involved in those beatings and sexual assaults, or just the person who's been charged? Uh, at this time, we believe that uh, uh, Mr. Lemke is the only accused involved in this. How did, um, going back to when he threatened to kidnap her from somewhere, how did, uh, how did she end up? This is another thing that we are uh, attempting to follow up and investigate. Uh, how she actually got to the residence. Um, because it is the ongoing investigation, we're not going to comment on that right now. And was this his house? He was renting or owned? Or? Uh, once again, uh, we are inside the residence, and hopefully we'll be able to get information like that uh, from 
the residents. I, I don't. All I can say is uh, we are continuing the investigation and, and hopefully answers such as that will come to light at the end. Neighbors did tell us that, oh, for the last couple of weeks they've heard screams and stuff, but none of them thought they thought somebody else would call police. Do you want to just speak to that? Like if, if in general people hear things that are suspicious, maybe they should call you? Like do you wish that somebody would have intervened sooner? Or? Yeah, it's a, a difficult situation uh, for the public, obviously. Um, um, we do our part as citizens within Calgary, and uh, um, it's fortunate that uh, our victim was able to escape and call the police when she did. Uh, you know, this is something I can't comment on right now, but uh, uh, it's it's something that uh, we have been uh, um, interviewing people and trying to figure out what what was actually heard. Can you describe her? Um, can you describe her? Yeah, you know what, any time, I don't want to comment on, on uh, the victim's uh, status. I can tell you that uh, she was through a very traumatic incident, and uh, um, she provided a, a very good statement uh, considering what she was going through. And so nobody in her life reported her missing or noticed that she was missing? Or? We don't have that information right now. Any children in the home or that you know of or involved? Or? Uh, we don't know that at this time. Um, right now, we're, uh, we are investigating uh, uh, possibilities of that, but we don't have any uh, confirmation uh, due to lack of evidence right now. Did you meet any other attempts to escape before? Uh, I can't comment on that. Well, you guys haven't looked at the house yet, so you just want your own Yeah, the, the house is being searched as we speak. What did you go for? Uh, we know that he is known to the police. Um, in the past, and that's all I can comment on. Any indication she was drugged at all while she was there? Uh, once again, I, I'm, I can't speak to the uh, uh, to anything with regards to the the victim as as we are still investigating this right now. Any more? So possibly additional charges. In the next couple of days. Yes, we are. There will be additional charges in the next following days. Uh, we're following up um, different leads based on uh, the crime of forcible confinement and what may have happened in the residence. Just to be clear, you're, you maybe acted alone. Do you want to anticipate charges against accomplices potentially? N no, we don't. So you could report a question about what do you think the motive behind all of this was? Yeah, that's one thing I can't comment on right now. Yeah, the victim was uh, treated at a medical facility and uh, and then interviewed. How do you feel about that? It's unknown at this time. I don't know if you actually saw the victim. Does the accuser live there? Um, we believe that the accused resides at that residence, yes. Does the victim have family here? Like, did anybody? Uh, once again, we're following up those leads. Uh, to try and figure out uh, the whereabouts of family members and things like that. At this time, what we do know is the victim is safe and is dealing with our uh, civilian partnerships with Homefront uh, and getting the help that she needs. So when you say they had a relationship up until March, is that a romantic relationship or was it an associate kind of relationship? It was a, 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 a relationship. Uh, you know what? Uh, at this time, I don't know what exactly the details of the relationship were. Uh, as far as I know, um, they were uh, in a domestic relationship. Uh, at this time, uh, speaking with uh, or with regards to the victim, um, uh, we're not going to comment. All we can do is comment that uh, um, we believe that uh, this is a bona fide complaint and she is a victim, and that's all we're going to discuss with her. With her, a lot of avenues that we are exploring, and um, we are working with uh, uh, other investigators within the Calgary Police Service and dealing with expertise that other investigators have, and hopefully we'll be, uh, uh, like I say, coming up with uh, further charges based on evidence that we gather from the search warrant.
by neighbors. There's lots of people coming and going from that house. Does that surprise you that a crime like this could be pulled off with tons of people potentially witnessing it or aware of it? Uh, you, nothing surprises me uh, when it comes to criminality and uh, criminals that are motivated uh, can pretty much do whatever they want. In a case like this, um, I can't comment on the accused and, and what his frame of mind was or even the victim and what her frame of mind was during this ordeal. All I can say is that over a three-week period, um, she was physically and sexually assaulted and that's a, we take that very seriously here. Yeah, those are definitely things that we're looking into, um, but at this time I can't comment on, on what the witnesses said or didn't say. Did he ever leave the house during that time? Sorry? Did he ever leave the house? Uh, it's unknown at this time. Uh, like I say, the investigation is uh, in its infancy, and, and hopefully we'll get those in, uh, uh, the information on questions like that in the future. Sorry? How long was the relationship? Uh, it's unknown at this time. So was there, like, in the, I think in the press release they called it a domestic partnership. That's why I wondered, like, but it was, like, boyfriend, girlfriend kind of thing? Yeah, we're unsure at this time, and it would be unfair to comment, but it was a domestic uh, relationship that they were, that they had previously.